So ladies and gentlemen, over here we coach Joe Midman. How you doing? How's everything? Good man, everything's great. Hey, um people, you know, in the in the boxing world, also MMA, you know, um they they uh, I'm so sure they have someone over there, you know, which is it is you that you know keeps, you know, the fighters always busy training. Who you got in camp, you know, when it comes to fighters or MMA fighters that you could you know, mention to the boxing world and of course the MMA world. Um, you know what, man? Um, right now we're um, we're building a pretty good team here at Ultimate Submission here in San Antonio. We're working with uh, a lot of good fighters. Um, I'm, I have the pleasure of uh, being the striking coach of uh, a pretty good team here in Ultimate at Ultimate Submission Academy. Um, right now we are in I'm in camp with a few fighters. Um, Ray the Judge Rodriguez, he just fought on the Contender Series in Las Vegas. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go our way, but just like they say, you know, you can't win them all. You got to get back to the drawing board and, and and fix some things. So we're in camp. He's uh, getting ready to fight November 8th here in San Antonio. So I'm looking forward to that, the return of the judge. Um, also, uh, we have Jacob Landon. He's getting ready to fight November 8th in Oklahoma. So uh, he's a, he's one of the, he's one of those guys that trains hard and 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 I'm looking forward to that, that one too to for Jacob Landon to put on a good show. Uh, we also have Chris Cortez that is fighting also here in San Antonio on November 8th. Young kid um, works hard, very humble, respectful. The kid knows what he wants, you know, and, and he's one of those guys that you have to. That you definitely need to look out for, and you'll definitely hear about him here in 2020. You know, I feel like he's going to make a big statement in 2020, so um, looking forward to that. Um, also, we have uh, Edward. We call him High Def. Edward, um, he's, a, he's a hard-working kid. He trains hard. He uh, lost his last fight, unfortunately, um, but the kid doesn't stop. You know, he doesn't let a loss uh, uh, determine the outcome of his career. You know, he 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 he, he wants to train hard, get back on that winning streak, and 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 see what else uh, is in store for him. So we will probably see if we'll get him a fight here at the end of the year or um, maybe just keep them training and get them ready for the 2020 the 2020 year that's coming and, and that way he can make a big statement in, in 2020 and also we have another kid named Oscar Martinez he is fight he's an amateur fighter undefeated very good fighter talented he is also getting ready for a title fight in for Fury Fury Promotions uh, here in Humble Texas so um Depending the, the the outcome of this fight, um, we'll sit down and have a meeting and figure out you know what the best uh, um, what are the options for yeah. his career. If he's gonna turn pro in the next couple of fights or, or what you know what it is, but we'll definitely uh, have a meeting and, and come to an agreement and see what the best um, thing that we can do for him is. You know, um, but other than that, man, I mean we are building a solid team here at Ultimate Submission. Um, it's it's going great, man. We're definitely making a, a a big statement in the MMA world. Definitely making a lot of noise. Um, we are, I believe, I have no doubt that we are definitely one of the the best uh, MMA um, schools in the world. Because um, you know we 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 dedicate everything to our fighters. Our fighters dedicate everything to us as coaches and, and that's what builds a, a solid team when you have that together you're unstoppable great to hear the coach um you know i mean it's a it's a lot of work when uh, when it comes from mma fighters boxers too that you you are surrounded by them but um you know we can't wait to hear you know noise of you know like as soon as you guys be ready for you know for face you know tough opponents like those like they are out there in in the MMA world and talking about tough opponents you know we have two upcoming you know two opponents that they will be here in New York November 2nd Jorge Masvidal Nate Diaz what do you say about the, all those fighters that you know now that fight is going to happen <laughs> uh, that's actually a very good fight man for the uh, 
for the fight world right there, the MMA fight world, it's a very interesting fight. That's what the fans need. That's what they want. They want an action-packed fight. Um, you got Jorge, a very good fighter, very good stand-up fighter. You got Nate Diaz, a very good stand-up fighter. You know, so um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be very um, very interesting to watch, man. As far as um, who comes out on top, man, I'm gonna go towards more the Diaz camp. They're they're, they're probably gonna come out on top, but. Who knows, man? The fight world is very, very hard to predict the fight. Yes. Um, when you have two talented fighters going at it. Yeah, it's actually, you know, I don't know if we're going to see, you know, this type of, uh, you know, move that, you know, Jorge Masvidal did it against his last opponent. That ended of the fight so quick, you know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that was one of the, you know, fastest uh um, you know, wins and knockout, you know, when, when it comes to, you know, what he practiced in the gym, he, I remember that he posted it in the video later, I, I think later on, the next day, what he practiced or something like that, it was on, on, you know, viral, going viral on Instagram and, you know, of course, all platforms, Facebook and every, you know, Twitter, it was great what he practiced, you know, he, he mentioned that, you know, I practiced this in the gym, so... Um, I I'm looking forward to see you know a great fight and who knows you know I mean the best man may win on that night and we 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 might we might have to stay you know tuned in order that if he whoever wins from this fight they might gonna face McGregor um I don't know if McGregor you know would like to face Jorge Masvidal or you know Nate Diaz or or probably Masvidal will go against um. Tony Ferguson, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah. He's yeah, as he. Man. That guy, nah. Tony Ferguson's a tough guy. He don't stop. He's coming. What do you think of you know these two? You know, I mean, now there these three. You know, I mean, we could continue adding because also you know in 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 the radar that could be you know Khabib too. You know, it's a. Oof. Yeah. That, man, so that that division is pretty stacked, man. It's a very very stacked division, very stacked division. So. um... It's actually uh, uh, pretty interesting. Also, we have uh, Alex Hernandez here in San Antonio. He's uh, he's in that division for the UFC, so you, we can't leave him out, man. Yeah, I, no, I, no. I mean, I, thank, I, thanks for reminding me. You know, like if he this you know um, category is a where where all these you know fighters they you know they are in this division is it, is is really stuck. You know, it's like so you know like. Is Pac, you know, a lot of talented right there. Those are, uh, uh, right now, are the biggest names in in MMA. And and I don't know who can win, you know. Because, I mean, when it comes from teams that they might going to say, oh, you know, Nate Diaz is better than Masvidal. Or Masvidal is better than Nate Diaz. We don't know, man, exactly. Um, yeah, for sure. That's, that's what makes... Uh-huh. It's just tough, man. It's just, you know, it's hard to... Uh, um... Uh, pick man, we have you know, we have a, a, a tough division, man. So, um, I just wish them all the best, and uh, the best man will come out on top. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I mean, we we gotta stay tuned and see what's gonna happen. 